let's talk about each of our models individually. First, let's talk about that traditional model and how it kind of doesn't exist anymore. The traditional model of teaching, honestly, it still doesn't exist in our classrooms today. You say, no, I'm a totally traditional teacher. My argument would be, maybe, but I would bet you're using a whole lot more technology than you used to. Even in the most traditional classrooms that I see, there is email, there is online data management or school attendance policies. In addition to that, there is data and digital testing that we do, whether it's a Star 360, whether it's the old ThinkLink, whether it is any sort of RTI testing that's done digitally, we're already doing that in the classroom. And even if you say, I don't even do that stuff, Okay, do you have digital resources that you're pulling those in-class activities from? That's already digital. The things that you're creating to give to students, even if you give them on paper, probably started as ones and zeros in a computer. So those classrooms really don't exist anymore. So let's really more talk about what's the most common model that we have. And that is this model right here. The technology in the classroom model. Now, technology in the classroom, we've already talked about some of the what easy ways that we have technology in the classroom from Remind.com, parent communication, that's digital, using our computers and using the digital curriculum guides that they give us or that you have that go along with your textbook series, you have those. Teacher pay teacher, those are all digital resources, but now, this tech in the classroom turns it up a little bit. This is where we get the iPads out, or we go to the computer lab, or we have the Chromebooks, or we have laptops, and we're doing something online. Now normally, it's happening within a lab space or a classroom space where the teacher is directing the activity. So it's still a very guided activity, but you're using that digital technology. You'll also notice it may or may not be every day. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Do you have something that you send home with students for practice or for formative assessment? Do you have them do online spelling practice? Do you have them do Quizlet? Do you have them do different activities or games that are technology-based? That is technology in the classroom, and there's some great tools, and this can be great teaching. But, unfortunately, technology is moving forward. So is society, and unfortunately, in the situations we may find ourselves in, we may have to turn it up yet again. So, moving from teacher with technology in the classroom to kind of this middle step, that's where we're headed next.